And I'm back again for another vlog. And in a different place this time. Uh, I only use this spot once uh, for a, a little skit that I did and, and put on YouTube. <laughs> but yeah, I actually like this spot. So I'm gonna use it again. And uh, my shirt matches the background of the picture there. They're both both buffalo. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. But anyway, uh, my last uh, I don't know, five or six vlogs have probably all been about work. Uh, yeah, but, so yeah, so this vlog is going to be about something else, because right now it works going pretty fine. Uh, I, I now seem to have a, a set schedule, uh, so yeah, yeah, that, that's nice. And yeah, just, just working on the weekends. So yeah, work's going good. So uh, this vlog will be about uh, language and autism because I I found a couple articles talking about how foreign language can benefit uh, people on the autism spectrum, which I know that, that seems uh, contradictory or ironic, I guess, since uh, language isn't exactly a strong uh, area for people on the autism spectrum. Yeah, but uh, apparently it helps a lot. So, uh, learning uh, two or more languages is good for uh, anyone, really, because it uh, uh, helps the brain and uh, uh, improves uh, critical thinking and uh, mental flexibility and, and some other stuff like that. So. And, and that's also true uh, for people on the autism spectrum. But uh, also, uh, children uh, with autism or developmental delays will not only get those benefits, but they also actually uh, acquire social and cognitive skills too. Like, like it, it says, uh, children, uh, the, the, it says children uh, with autism and who are bilingual uh, are more likely, more likely to use gestures such as uh, pointing when they communicate, and they also have a, a stronger uh, command uh, at nonverbal communication. Not, I guess, like pointing. So yeah, I guess gestures do go with uh, talking. Yeah, I know a lot of people will use their hands when talking, and uh, I guess that helps uh, communication. Uh, yeah, it helps better communicate, I guess. But yeah, it's interesting because uh, probably learning a foreign language would be the uh, last thing you would expect to help. A person with autism. It also says kids who are bilingual have a larger vocabulary <laughs> vocabulary than 
uh, kids who only know one language. So yeah, so there's another way you can uh, communicate better. Uh, if you know more words, then it's easier uh, for you to uh, uh, express yourself, I guess. <laughs> and one article says that uh, the, the reasoning behind this is that people on the autism spectrum tend to focus on the details rather than the big picture. I know I do. Endless foreign language uh, details are important. Uh, like there's grammar rules and right and wrong ways to conjugate verbs and uh, and and uh, how to structure sentences. Yeah, the details are important uh, in language. And also, uh, a huge part of learning a new language is listening. Uh, like listening to how words are put together and uh, how sounds are uh, made, I guess, and how uh, and how they sound in one language and are different than in another language. So you have to listen carefully, and that that's a part of focusing too. And yeah, I'll put links below. Uh, to uh, the, the, these articles that I'm reading right now. So you, yeah, you, you can check those out if you want to. But, uh, but with my own personal experience, uh, yeah, I only know a little bit of Spanish. Uh, I, I took Spanish class in high school. And, uh, and I've been to Mexico a few times now, but uh, and, and every time uh, right, right before I travel to Mexico, I, I uh, try to brush up on my uh, Spanish, uh, but I really just uh, relearn the stuff I already learned because I don't really use Spanish uh, when I'm not in Mexico. So, so yeah, yeah. I, I wish I did uh, use Spanish more and uh, know more of it, because uh, sounds like it could help me. I mean, I mean, uh, a lot of these studies uh, were done on children, so uh, I'm not sure if the benefits would be the same for me, but, but yeah, yeah, I wish I learned more Spanish when I was younger, and, and I wish I used it more today. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, it's just, uh, you know, one of those things that helps, which you wouldn't think would help. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so yeah, it's kind of weird, but still cool. Yeah, so check out the links below and uh, that's going to be it for this vlog, and until next video, uh, goodbye. You know, people talk with their hands, I guess. Or talk when... No, or what? No, <laughs> see.
Oh, I need to learn a language.